Okay, I'm just going to demonstrate the concept of beating, which um, which occurs when we get two frequencies that are really almost at the same frequency, but just slightly different. And when we hear those two frequencies, they, they clash and interact with each other. So I'm just going to show that with some sine waves. Um, so here we are. I've got three sine waves here, and they all look kind of similar in frequency, but you can see that they're just getting out of sync uh, various places, and that's because they're all subtly different frequencies. So I've got this one, which is 110 hertz. So just play a bit of that. It's just a standard tone. This one is just higher, 112 hertz. Barely hear the difference with that. And this one's a bit more, a bit higher, 120 hertz. So you can just about hear that difference in frequency between those two. So look, let's see what happens when I play two together. So they're both, both individually um, sound like sine waves, but when we play them together, we get to hear the beating effect. Okay, so that beating effect that you can hear basically is what we call a modulation. And essentially it's where the sine waves, they kind of, they accentuate each other when they're in, in time, in sync, in phase we call it. And when they're out of phase, as they gradually get out of phase, out of time with each other, then they start to cancel each other out. So we get this period where volume goes loud, quiet, loud, quiet, loud, quiet. It's sometimes regarded as like the tremolo effect from a, a guitar pedal or, um, or sometimes we call it volume modulation. So let's just hear that again. And that's what happens when, uh, when we hear the two together. Let's just go from one to the other and I'll add the second one in. Okay, so it's really obvious that when we get those two frequencies, they, they start to clash, they start to uh, cancel each other out, and they cause this kind of non-smooth sound. Just, um, I've actually bounced that file already. In actual fact, we can have a look at that. So let's just pull that in. I'll just create a new audio track. This is the, this is the bounce of those two signals. Oh, there it is. So that's exactly what we were hearing, yeah? Um, the sine waves coming in and out of volume so as these two sine waves add together the result is this shape of the sine wave just coming in and out of volume quiet loud quiet loud or loud quiet so let's just do that again with the uh with the other frequency so i've got um i've got this 120 hertz frequency so let's just go with that one now um, so now I'm just adding a slightly higher frequency to show you the difference when we use fine beating with um, with a, a bigger difference in frequency so this one's 110 and this one is 120 okay so that shows that the bigger the difference in frequency when those two frequencies are, are added together or when they occur at the same time we get a faster beating so um, so just to drag that one in as well I'll zoom out um, a bit too far uh, so I've got the bounce of that as well here so and as we can see if you look at the difference between that one and the and this one really the the difference is the time of the beating yeah so the closer they are together you get a slow smooth beating and the, the further they are apart you get this um this sort of faster beating and obviously if they're if they're miles apart if they're a long long way apart they don't really beat any at all it's only when they're within a certain range that they start to clash and um and and confuse each other so so that's the concept of beating and uh, and and what to listen out for. And if you hear this kind of modulation, this volume going loud, quiet, loud, quiet, then clearly there's two frequencies happening at the same time and they're basically interfering with each other.